Good morning, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio, and I hope you're well today. We're going to the Old Testament today, a very apropos message for the times in which we live. I believe we're living in the last of the last days. I believe that God has, has ordained you, if you're a believer in Jesus Christ, you're a born-again believer, to live in the days that we're living. I don't think it's by accident that you were born out of the history of the world to be born right here, right now. I think it's a privilege when we see this world turning. We see the events of a prophecy beginning to come true. I think it's a call for not only for us to reach out with the gospel of Jesus Christ to the world, but it's also a call for you and I to make sure our house is in order, to make sure that we are spiritually where God wants us to be. We're looking at Amos chapter 4, verse 12. It says, prepare to meet thy God. Let me ask you this. Are you prepared to meet God? If you're an unbeliever, if you've never trusted Christ as your Savior, let me tell you what, you're not prepared to meet God. You don't want to meet God if you have not uh, trusted Christ as your Savior, repented of your sins, become born again through Jesus Christ. You are not prepared to meet God if you have not trusted him as Savior. I'm telling you what, th there are times that are just going to get worse and worse. Scripture is very clear on this. What we see today uh, could not have been imagined 20, 25, 30 years ago. But the transgenderism and the homosexuality and, and this woke ideology and all this Black Lives Matter and all this other stuff that's coming down on the church, and uh, and the church is 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 quaking in in its boots. They're they're afraid of all these things, and so rather than standing against it, because so many of the people that are coming into the church are unsaved, the church is is bowing down to it. And so what we have here is our churches that are filled with unbelievers who are not prepared. For, to, to meet God, not prepared for the coming uh, trials that are about to, to hit this country. My friends, if you're, if you're within the sound of my voice and you're not prepared, you have not trusted Christ as your Savior, today is the day of salvation, the Bible says. That means salvation can be yours today. You can become a born-again believer right here, right now, by number one. Uh, repenting of your sins. That means you need to acknowledge the life that you've lived is apart from God. You have fallen short. The Bible says, for all have come, uh, fallen short of the glory of God. We all have before salvation. There's none of us that could, that could achieve the holiness of God. We've all sinned. And uh, the fact that we, if we went through our whole life and just sinned one time, that would be enough to sin you to eternal hell and that's the long and the short of it and uh and if you're happy in the in the life you're living apart from god apart from this or maybe you think that you're saved and you can live this life because you're saved and, and chances are you're not saved you're not saved because a true believer is remorseful over their sins they're not holding on to some idea that somehow grace has, uh, is covering that sin, that God somehow winks at that sin, that God somehow allows that sin. No, no, no. You must repent of that sin. You must confess it as sin. Say, God, I, uh, I apologize. Please forgive me of my sins through the blood of Christ and save me right here, right now. If you're willing to repent of your sins, if you're willing, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, if you have, if you're willing to confess your sins and 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 repent and and trust Christ as your Savior, you will be saved today. It's just that simple. Just that simple. You are not prepared to meet your God. And let me make this very clear: you you are going to meet God. My Bible says that every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. The only question is, are you going to do it on this side of, of, of death, or are you going to do it on the other side? 
On the other side, you're going to spend eternity in, in, in damnation, eternal damnation. Are you prepared to meet your God? And if you're not, why don't you bow your head right now and confess and say, Dear Father, in Jesus' name, I know that I'm a sinner. I know I have rebelled against you. I no longer want to live this way. I repent of my sins. In Jesus' name, I believe that Jesus Christ, the Son of God, God the Son, died on the cross for my sins and was buried and resurrected from the grave. And by his blood, I am saved. I believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Save me now. Save me forever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Well, this is Pastor Marvin Osborne saying God loves you and I love you as well. And I'll talk to you soon.